Hi there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Bayonetta. We are now on chapter 16, The Lumen Sage. I don't know, is this like, is this the end? I don't know. I'm hyped as balls though, I had to go upstairs, make myself some spaghetti because the hype forced the spaghetti out of my pockets and into the stratosphere from just the amount of Jesus everything that's going on amazingness. What follows those living in the light is nothing but the profound, empty darkness born from the shadow that grows longer as they approach the brilliant radiance. To truly see, your eyes must be open to both light and dark. Don't you agree, my dear child? Little one. You've arrived, my dear sweet Cereza. My, my, why the grim face, my dear? As a child, your smile was warmer than the sun. So, you are the last of the Lumen Sages. I am indeed. My name is Balder, but if you so choose, you may address me as Father. There is much you have forgotten. It has been five hundred years since we last met. If your memories were still intact, this would have been a much more emotional reconciliation. How did you get the girl? Where shall I begin? We, the Lumen Sages, and your Umbra Witches, have long been the overseers of history, each bearing witness with their own eye. This is how our universes... Existence was preserved. However, for five hundred years, you have been exiled from the world's affairs. You are the left eye of the eyes of the world. Could you dispense with the riddles and just tell me what these sodding eyes actually are? Your years of slumber have caused you to forget many things, even as we stand on the verge of the resurrection of the Creator. The resurrection of Jubileus. There is but one way to return your epic of forgotten memories and open your eye of the overseer. Your uncorrupted eye had to be exposed to the history it could not see. Ah. Your battles, your struggles, everything you've experienced in this town has been a stepping stone for your enlightenment. It has all been done for the left eye. I've had enough of your philosophical pretensions. I won't ask again. Where did you get the girl? <laughs> your question has been answered. All this has been done to awaken the left eye. For that, you had to see yourself once more. You are truly beyond salvation, Sage. Ah, salvation. Such a curious word. I mark the path to salvation with light. However, no matter how brilliant that light grows, 
The darkness within the human heart grows even darker. Light, dark, and chaos between. Three realities once split shall be brought together to create a new universe in the image of the old. To these ends, leading to the Festival of Resurrection 500 years ago, I fanned the flames of terror spurring on the witch hunts. However, despite the people's belief in the return of Jubileus, the Creator, the left eye was out of reach. Since then, I have devoted myself to this town's prosperity, and now it is time for my preparations to bear fruit. Jubileus will be resurrected. We will become the eyes of the world, and a new universe will take us. Buffy! I could never call the man behind this nightmare father. Great speech, big guy. Luca. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, Mr. Big Shot Ithaval Executive? Salvation, light. You take this entrepreneurial philosophy a bit seriously, don't you? But it's all diarrhea of the mouth, if you ask me. History is littered with famous genocidal figures, just like you. Or, should I say, infamous genocidal figures. You must be Luca, journalist extraordinaire. I must say, I'm truly impressed you've made it this far, child. Like father, like son, I suppose. What? Luca, Luca, Luca. Your father had problems with my philosophies. It's fine to investigate. But when malicious rumors start to spread, I must see to it that they come to a stop. For being kind enough to ascertain that my long lost eraser was at the bottom of some lake. I granted him his final wish, and accepted his permanent resignation. You bastard! <laughs> 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 I guess my plan has gone right out the window. <laughs> Such a shame that sacrifice had to be made. But if destiny is not fulfilled soon, this tragedy will be repeated ad nauseum. Speaking of tragedy, I suppose you've met John. While she sealed you away and kept you from trouble, after falling into our hands, she's been incredibly useful. Although her distinct lack of obedience required a bit of mental reprogramming. Her tragic end led you directly to me, just as planned. The time for awakening the left eye is soon. Fear not, my dear, sweet Cereza. <laughs> That's it, Cereza. Do not. 
not fear your fate. Stand tall, my child. Realize your true potential. Sereza, we are one, my child. Okay, the, the whole peacock motif is kind of cool, I can dig that, but when, when, <laughs> for some reason, when, when he said, like, father, like, son, I actually thought it was implying that he was also Luca's father, and I was like, okay, that turned the entire game a little creepy, but no, then I remember that his father, you know, died, um, because, you know, then the whole thing of, of Bayonetta and him, and yeah, that's weird, um, Notably Japanese, but weird. Um, this is cool, though. That was a long cutscene. That was a 10-minute cutscene, which, you know... Ow. Happens a bit. But, I mean, it's this is the end, right? We're, we're going into the exposition, and this obviously isn't his final form. I mean, this is... Normally, it goes to something huge, then to the to the heavenly be shown in form, as it is called on TV Tropes. But, no, we're going first here... And then, uh, it's weird though, with the whole, I guess, with the fact that, you know, Bayonetta didn't disappear from time when that happened, that means we have to survive and win, right? That's what it's implying, because otherwise we should be gone now, because young Bayonetta, young Cereza has been taken away, you know? So, obviously we have to win canonically. What's this dude doing? And of course my phone freaking rings during a part. Ah! Three, two, one. Okay, so he's gonna try and rail cannon us, isn't he? Stun Peron. I'm obviously just gonna have to dodge. Where do I jump to? Over there. Okay. That wasn't too bad. What is this? Oh god, it's it's persistent. Slow-moving, persistent projectiles are sometimes worse than fast-moving ones. Okay, so he has a sword, too. So this is cool. We're going, like, straight on. Straight on. Not really clone battle, but, you know. I don't know how I feel about her father being the bad guy. Like, I... I don't know. I've never really enjoyed when the father is a bad guy. Because then I can only see it as a Star Wars reference. But I know Star Wars... Didn't do it first, but... So, uh, little Cereza's, like, not getting hurt at all, right? That's, that's what's happening. Oh, that didn't work out that well. Oh, no! Don't tell me he's gonna kill every one of our little dudes. By little dudes, I mean gigantic hellspawn demon dudes. Okay, so that's a save point. I can see that saving thing in the bottom. Does this dude have parries? Seriously? The same third strike, bro. Oh, 
Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, of course, just throwing buildings at us. No big deal. Oh, darn it. I totally missed that. That didn't do as much damage as I expected it would. Okay, now if he's gonna do it again, I'll just be able to dodge better. That wasn't too bad. At least, like, all the all the enemies have very telegraphed attacks, at least. Um, you know, you can see when you're gonna, when you're gonna do damage and when they're gonna hit, and it's good. And thankfully, they give you options where, like, if you do get hit, there's ways to get them out of it. That, that did a lot. That was actually a very big combo we did on him. Slow moving projectile. That hit us? I couldn't even tell. Yo, okay, let's go. So we could call this guy a motherfucker and be completely and utterly correct on this, right? Like, that's... That's technically what he is. And so which one's gonna be next one? Spider bro? This is uh no, this is the worm thing. Yeah. We don't we didn't really see him much. He feels like the one that's used the least. Other than maybe the stingray. Squeeze him Yo! But of course he's gonna just blow up now, cause he's, you know, basically ascending to godhood like some stereotypical final boss. Really digging the disco look though. Did he... he just combed his hair with a feather. I mean, he pulls off the peacock look well, I will say. Okay, what's gonna happen? Ah. Yo, okay. He's getting harder, it feels like. He's definitely speeding up and going all out now. Or at least getting to going all out. Can't even get witch time, though, really, now. Other than that, which is helpful, for sure. Okay, now is he doing this kill sad again? Yes. What? Oh, no, he's bringing it down. Okay. Darn it! I pressed B and B and X, or B and A, rather. Why did I think that was what it was? Actually leads me to some, some decent attacks when he's doing it like that. Cause it, cause it doesn't necessarily launch me, right? It just, um... Oh, there we go. Finally get witch time. Come on. Ah! This isn't working! We almost got this form done. So once we get this form done, then we should be good enough. Because it'll save. Hopefully. Ow. Come on. Okay, witch time. Let's go. There we go. Climax him. That sounds terrible in, in the fact that it's our father.
Nice! Yo, are you serious? Yo. Oh my god. Oh, the glass. Don't hit the glass. Come on, make it! Make it to his head! No! No! Frick frack, we're gonna have to try that again, aren't we? Or did we actually get him? I don't know. Yeah, no, okay, we did do that right. Okay, that's... God, that's cool, though. Let's try that again, this time with aiming properly. Because I hit that one at the end that really screwed me over. All we have to do is this entire form over. Ah, whatever. At least this time I have the power of full health. Ow. Well, there that goes. Wow, that actually did some good stuff while he was, uh, locked into his combo. Ah, there we go. Oh, he didn't do this last time. Yo, okay. Wow, this is actually going a lot faster. When he's doing that, it's like you can just wail on him, which is nice. Ow. Okay, don't get careless now. Come on! God, I love that bad attack. Let's get him this time. So what does it say on the bullet? I couldn't really read it. There's a weird font in this game. Wish I could just slow it down and read. I bet you it has it on the wiki though. Okay, so avoid the glass. Damn it! Yeah, let's get back. Come on. Come on. Hit. Oh, dude, we're right on him. Yes. Gotta give you credit, Bayonetta. You never cease to impress. You haven't seen the half of it. I've seen enough. Well, that about wraps it up, huh? Not yet. No need to be afraid, little one. The nightmare is over. Everything was just a dream. You're a strong little girl. There is nothing you cannot overcome. Mommy? Did you find it? 
that you were looking for? Yes. I found it. So don't you worry anymore. You just keep your treasure safe too. Sweet dreams, little one. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other I'm not afraid anymore, Mummy. No matter what, there's nothing I cannot do. Bayonetta! What's happening to you? And now it is done. The right eye oversees the light. The left eye oversees the darkness. Two eyes to oversee the world. It was never the woman known as Bayonetta that I set my sights upon. It was you as a child. Cereza, that I saw. For she was the one who saw the world through innocent eyes. And she was the one who could give rise to a new history. It was her energy that could awaken the left eye. This has all worked out splendid. <coughs> Let us begin, Cereza. The time is at hand. Now, the resurrection of Jubileus shall be completed. We are the eyes overseeing the world. We are the eyes overseeing a new era, a new reality, to which we will devote ourselves eternally. Excuse me, what just happened? No, I'm serious, we went back in time and that did... <laughs> that did what? Like... Because... So like, she gave the thing, put her back, and then that caused... When she came out, time like... Reset? I have no idea what just happened, but that doesn't look good. Okay. So... Oh my god, there's no Bayonetta even here. There's no Bayonetta! What the heck?
That's a really good attention to detail. It reminds me of when Palutena goes crazy in Kid Icarus Uprising and like everything Palutena leaves the game. But like, oh, that's surprising. That's weird. I feel strange. I don't know, guys. What's gonna happen? Okay, so, I think with that, we'll see you all next time. Because this seems like a good cutoff point, now it's telling me to press A to go next, so, we will, uh, we'll see you later. Ciao!